What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create our beam systems, but this time we're going to use the sketch option. So last time we created our beam system with uh, this area here, we did automatic uh, beam system. So this time, and also this is, uh, this is a concrete. So this time we're going to create our beam system. We're going to sketch it. And then we're going to place it here for our uh, steel beam. Okay, so let's do this. So let's go to the 0 to floor. And then after that, so let's go to the structure. And then let's select our beam system. Okay, now this time we are going to select sketch beam system. Okay, and then the next thing that we are going to do is on our properties... We're going to make sure that the elevation here is uh, minus 5 inches, just like our offset for the beam last time. So it's also minus 5 inches. And for the layout rule, instead of maximum spacing, I'm going to select here a fixed distance of uh, 6 feet. And then the justification will going to be center. And then this time, instead of concrete, so I'll be using a steel... Uh, steel beam here, which is uh, 1226 W wide flange. That's the one. All right. And then after that, we are now going to uh, create our steel beam sketch. So using the line tool, or maybe I'll just use the peak lines here. So I select the peak lines, and then I'm going to pick this line here. There you go. And then you will notice uh, there are two short lines adjacent, uh, adjacent to our beams. So this represents the beam system direction. So the longitudinal axis of the beam system member will be placed parallel to this uh, line here. Okay, so after we pick that, so I'm going to pick this line here. I'm going to pick this line. Okay, just uh, take note. Make sure the sketch here is close, no overlapping, and no intersection. Okay, so any sketch that you do in Revit, okay, not only on the sketching of the beam system, but other sketches. So whenever you sketch, make sure it's close, no intersection, and uh, no overlapping. Okay, so let me select modify here to terminate. So take a look. If I'm going to finish this, so Revit will tell me that lines cannot intersect each other. Okay, just like that. So it's highlighted here, right? So it becomes orange. That's why you need to fix that one. So what we can do, let me delete this. Delete that. And then I'm going to connect this line to this line here using uh, trim extend to corner just pick that and then let's pick this line here you pick the two sides that you want to remain and there you go so they are now connected okay and then this one should be close as well right so we can trim that trim this there you go so make sure it's close. So this one is not close. So if we're going to finish that, so it must be in closed loops. Okay. So make sure you close that using trim extent to corner. Okay. There you go. Then after that, I'm now going to select finish edit mode. And there you have it. Okay. With the tags. So by the way, if you want to turn off the tags, you have a couple of ways to do that. It's either you click, right click, and then um, select instances visible in view. So it will highlight all the tags. So once it highlights, you can right click. And then after that, you can select your hide in view elements, right? So you can do that. So I'm going to undo. So I'm going to click one of the tag again. So right click. And then... Uh, Hide in view, you can select your category. So it will also hide your tags there. So I'm going to undo, gonna show you another way. You can go to your visibility graphic overrides. You can click edit here on the visibility graphic overrides or you can also type VV to open up. 
and then you go to the annotation categories and then you look for the uh, beam tags here so let's look for structural uh, structural beam there should be a category for that so let me move this okay so there you go so we now have here the structural beam system tags so just uncheck that and then select your okay oh okay so it's not hidden so what's this so structural framing tag okay so that's the category so it's structural framing tag so let's go back so annotation category so structural framing tag so let's look for that structural framing tag this one just uncheck that and then okay and there you go so you have several ways of doing that so let's check out in the 3d view and there you have it oops so let me click one to orbit there you go so again there's an offset of five inches for our structural beam and again although they are not connected in the model but they are already correct because of our analytical model there okay right so basically that's how you create your beam system so you just learn how to create it automatically this one we created on our concrete beams and then we also sketch our beam system here for our steel beam so hopefully you learn something from this video guys Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.